I've covered a lot of pirate number stations recently, and they're quite exciting in that more often than not, we can, with a bit of work, decode the messages. In some of my recent videos, I've told you of number stations that have given threats and home addresses of various people out over the air, stations that contain strange voices and train whistles, and others that read fast food menus. Today we'll be looking at the Greensleeves number station, and how Chris and Scott managed to painstakingly decode the message. I can't take any credit for this, they just told me their process, and we thought it would be good to share it. So, Greensleeves is a new 49 meter pirate number station, that mainly sends around 100 five figure groups of numbers. It appeared on 6960kHz in September of this year, and its transmission location isn't known. As you've probably guessed, its musical preamble tune is Greensleeves, a traditional English folk song dating back to September 1580. The message begins with the piano rendition of Greensleeves, followed by the synthesised voice of a female, who says begin message twice. She then reads around 100 five-figure groups of numbers, that appear to correspond to letters of the alphabet. Begin message. Begin message. 19, 2, 22, 25, 7, 4, 4, 3, 19, 25, 22, 9, 0, 17, 8, 19, 3, 0, 1, 21, 22, 15, 0, 21, end, message, end, message. She signs off by repeating end message two times. Unfortunately, in this instance, the cipher isn't as simple as A equals 1, B equals 2, etc. So, Chris and Scott logged numerous transmissions of the Greensleeves number station, and after listening to them, they realised that the groups were all the same in the transmissions they recorded. Some messages were clearer than others, depending on where they were being monitored from, and of course the equipment being used. Begin message. Nineteen, two, twenty-two, twenty-five, seven, four, four, three, nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-two, nine, zero, seventeen, eight. So listening to the strings of numbers gives us this sequence. The fact that they were read in groups of five is irrelevant to decoding the message. Most number stations use groups as a way of making it easier for the recipient to follow. Taking away the fancy slides, we can see the numbers more clearly. It's clear that this is likely some sort of simple substitution cipher. A substitution cipher is a method of encrypting, in which units of plain text are replaced with a cipher, in a defined manner, with the help of a key. So, to decode this message, we need to know what that key is. Like I said, it's not as simple as A equals 1, B equals 2. A may be 20, and B may be 14, for example. The first thing the guys got to work on was working out exactly how many times each of the numbers was used, as a total and as a percentage. This helped them to visualise the most commonly used numbers. As you can see, 22 was used the most, at 15.5%. It occurred 78 times. 19 was the next most frequently used, with 9.3%, it occurred 47 times. Scott suspected that the unused letters such as 6, 12, 20 and 24, probably referred to the letters Z, Q, X and possibly J. If this was true, it would support the theory that the message was in English. Chris told me that English uses letters such as E and T more often, and so a good starting place would be to replace 22 with E in the number strings, and 19 with T. Many hours later, making plenty of incorrect guesses, words slowly started to appear. This was a trial and error process which can be extremely frustrating, but guess by guess, the decoded text begins to appear. So, what does this mean? 
Well, breaking it up into words and adding some punctuation gives us a manifesto that may be familiar to regular viewers of the channel. This is the manifesto of WBNY. One of the better known shortwave pirate stations of decades gone by, WBNY was run by Commander Bunny. He claimed to be the leader of the rodent revolution, and his programming consisted of music, skits, and the promotion of rodents as superior to monkeys, his euphemistic term for humans. Not much is known about who or what was behind the original WBNY, and Commander Bunny passed away a few years ago, but its broadcasts of strings of numbers back in 2002 led to widespread theories and decryption efforts. For more on this topic, I'll leave a really interesting video in the description below, which contains plenty of recordings and decodes of the ciphered messages. Why Greensleeves is transmitting the manifesto of the rodent revolution isn't clear. As I said earlier, the man behind WBNY is long deceased. It's not even as if Greensleeves is using an old WBNY recording either, because their numbers were read in a high-pitched squeaky rabbit voice, and not the female automated voice we can hear on the Greensleeve station. Another message was sent on September the 20th. This was a truncated transmission which led to a transcribed string of 17 numbers. Running these through the same cipher table reveals this string of letters, which, when broken up, decodes as I like Fleetwood Mac. As for the significance of this, I'm not sure. There have been other Greensleeves transmissions, but not all have used this cipher table, so some work is needed to figure these transmissions out. So, that's the Greensleeves number station. Thanks to Scott and Chris for their work on decoding these messages. Chris runs the HF Underground website, which is great for those who are wanting to get into the shortwave radio hobby, and he also runs Black Cat Systems, where he's written some interesting radio-related programs, so be sure to head over there. Links are in the description below. For more number stations, both intelligence-related and hoaxes, I'll leave a playlist in the description too. Thank mm -hmm. you.